What? Ah, what's it to you? Come on. Give me the goddamn envelope. No. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. Remember, the 2020 election is the most secure election of your lifetime or mine. That's because we mailed every person in America a ballot, including names of people who had previously lived at your house like I got in Washington, D.C., where I received seven different ballots. And then anyone or anybody, you can just pick up those ballots, can vote for them. And who really cares? Looks like you're going to have to go find the people who committed the fraud. And now, well you are starting to literally see the fraud on camera. You are seeing that playing out across the nation and judges are overturning elections, but only in Democrat states, you see. (sighs) Man, it's nice to be right, I guess, even though it's a very sad, sad case here. This is in Massachusetts, ladies and gentlemen. This is footage of a woman walking up to a dude's doorstep and just straight this up is the taking ring camera video appearing to show a woman taking out three ballots from a Lawrence man's mailbox. It's not. It's Lawrence, Massachusetts, and it's not appearing. Those those marked gray envelopes. Those are the ballots in Massachusetts. Those are the ballots. Doesn't appear to show anything. She goes up and steals the guy's ballots, and then the guy tries to vote in person, and they said, "No, no, no, pal, you already voted." And this happened to multiple people in the town, including they have a lady on there who's like, that's not my signature. Somebody voted for me. Oh, man. Check this out. To an NBC 10 Boston exclusive, state and local officials are looking into allegations of attempted voter fraud in Lawrence, and we've exclusively obtained video footage from a Lawrence man's home appearing to show a woman removing ballots from his mailbox. NBC 10's Darren Botello spoke with Secretary of State Bill Galvin about all of this. Darren, what did he have to say? Well, right now, there are two police reports alleging voter fraud in Lawrence at this time, and there could be more on the way. We are told that there is an investigation going on at both the state and local level. And one man tells us he actually caught a woman on camera going into his mailbox stealing ballots. This is the ring camera video appearing to show a woman taking out three ballots from a Lawrence man's mailbox. This is the man who didn't want to be identified, but says he went to go vote in person on Election Day last week and was told, according to the list, he already voted. That's when he checked his camera footage and then contacted police. The Essex County District Attorney's Office and Secretary of State, William Galvin, are now looking into any allegations of potential voter fraud. We're going to get all the ballots out of Lawrence. We're going to get all the mail-in ballots, and we're going to review everything and all the provisionals and reconcile the list. And a further investigation contacting some of the people who allegedly voted by mail needs to be done, we will do it. There are two reports of potential voter fraud or stolen ballots right now in Lawrence. There may be more. It's premature to say how many. The second report filed was from this Lawrence woman, who's still waiting for elections officials to decide whether her in-person vote will count or the mail-in which she says has her signature forged. How come it's not going to be counted if I'm voting right in front of you and I'm telling you that that vote that you have there is not mine? State elections officials are now sorting through these allegations and we're told the results would be delivered before the candidates begin their new terms in January. We're on it. The minute we heard about it today, we took action. We've had a history of sending people to jail when they've committed crimes. That's what we'll do here. And there's also another component to these cases. If that mail was stolen out of those mailboxes, that's a federal offense. And we're told there could be a federal investigation on the way. Live in Boston tonight, Darren Botello, NBC 10 Boston. Okay, so that's just blatant and obvious fraud. Using mail-in ballots and unaccountable drop boxes and people voting for you and then no signature verification. You have the voters on camera saying, that's not my signature. And does it, does it change because these are Democrats? Are we allowed to talk about it now because these are Democrats and like in Lawrence, Massachusetts, which is uh, presumably a Democrat place, Massachusetts is a Democrat state? Video allegedly shows woman stealing ballots from Lawrence mailbox. Who is paying these people? Who is paying these people? Two reports of voter fraud, stolen ballots. 
Officials are looking into allegations of, of stolen ballots in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Video footage of a woman removing the ballots from a man's home. Again, when I lived in Washington, D.C., inside of a place that was so corrupt, they would mail everyone ballots. I got seven ballots sent to my home. Mail-in ballots sent to my home. Live ballots sent to my house. Because they're not because seven people live there, but because all of the owners, previous owners of that house, anyone who would potentially register to vote at that address got a ballot. So how many ballots were out there in Washington, D.C.? Like that more than the like the vote, like probably hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of extra ballots were out in Washington, D.C. This is, by the way, how you get the phenomenon of more people voting than are registered to vote. That's how that works. They're hoovering up all the mail in ballots and fraudulently voting with them. The man did not want to be identified. He said he went to vote in person on election day. He was told that he had already voted. So he checked his camera footage and contacted the police because somebody was taking his ballots out. We're going to get all the mail-in ballots. We're going to review, this is what the authorities say, everything with the provisionals and reconcile the list. And a further investi investigation contacting some of the people who allegedly voted by mail needs to be done. We'll do it. Well, we'll see. I will not hold my breath. I won't hold my breath because Democrats benefit from the system of voting because they have rigged this system of voting. They created the system of voting through COVID and they want this. They are prepared for this style of broken elections. They benefit them. Go check Georgia. Oh, okay. I, I will go check Georgia. Oh, wow. Interesting. The voting group founded by Stacey Abrams led by Raphael Warnock, who nobody's quite sure how Raphael Warnock got into the Senate. Really unpopular guy. He's a wife beater. He's a real scumbag. How did the red state of Georgia vote for two Democrat senators? How did the red state of Georgia vote for Joe Biden when Donald Trump, the most popular Republican president in history, was running for office? Well, the obvious answer to that is fraud. Why were there water leaks when they were where they were counting the ballots? Just where they were counting the ballots, right? There was a freak water leak. Hmm, why would that be? And why does Stacey Abrams still call herself the real, legitimate governor of Georgia? It is really something that we must ask the question of. So are we allowed to ask questions when it's Democrats committing fraud against Democrats? Here's a area of Connecticut in Bridgeport, Connecticut, a dark blue Democrat area where Democrats committed fraud against Democrats. And it was so bad that the judge overturned the election. Here's Wanda, Wanda stuffing ballots into the drop box for her boss, which is the mayor of Bridgeport, Connecticut. They always use people like Wanda, right? The low level muscle, the criminals to go walk up and shove ballots into these unaccountable drop boxes. Here, here's every single problem with the electoral process right now, the unmanned, unaccountable ballot drop box, and then a fistful of ballots. Who the hell knows where they come from? We just played you two, like we, we just talked through two different cases where the ballots were just removed from your mailbox and somebody voted for you. Here is the Heritage Foundation fraud cases around America. You can see here thousands and thousands and thousands of fraud cases. How many pages you want to look at? Fraud cases, fraudulent use of absentee ballot, false registration, fraudulent use of absentee ballot, ineligible voting, election overturned. Look at that. False registrations, false registration, duplicate voting, duplicate voting, duplicate voting, false use of uh, ballots. Dude, check this out in New Jersey. In New Jersey, they got an election that's so crooked, that's so broken, that this guy in Patterson, New Jersey, the Patterson City Council president and his wife stole mail-in ballots to rig the 2020 election, according to the attorney general. This guy named Alex Mendez, they he would steal the mail-in ballots along with his wife and two other campaign supporters to rig the 2020 election. The criminal conspiracy was done to get himself elected in 2020, according to the state attorney general. He said that Mendez and his wife and two campaign supporters stole mail-in ballots from residences' mailboxes, filled some out, and then tried to mail in fakes in an effort to win. Investigators said that all, in all, hundreds of ballots were stolen, falsified, or improperly delivered during the pandemic when mail-in ballots were how votes were cast. Isn't that fascinating? Look at that. Wow. Wow. Judge has blocked him from taking office due to election irregularities. Check this out from the uh, from the attorney general of New Jersey. 
Uh, the Attorney General of New Jersey is charging this guy with conspiracy to commit election fraud, fraud and casting mail-in ballot, unauthorized possession of ballots, tampering with public records, falsifying tampering with records, conspiracy tampering, fabricating physical evidence, soliciting, procuring, assisting unlawful registration, violations, conspiracy to commit witness tampering. They're charging his wife. They're charging uh, his scumbag little agents. Look at these guys. Such dirtbags. And how is it possible? It wouldn't be possible if you had same day in person ID voting. It wouldn't be possible if you had to go up to a little election center to vote. We are like in the modern era, we are idiots. We are so stupid. You can see this all over the place here in Arizona. How many different states have I gone to? I've got blue states, red states, Democrat elections, Republican elections. How many different states? Arizona woman admits guilt in ballot collection scheme. This lady would collect, illegally collect ballots in the 2020 election. And then she filled them out. Her name is Guillermina Fuentes. She is a Democrat activist, well-known Democrat operative from San Luis. And she just went and hoovered up ballots of Latino voters and she filled them out herself. And then she shoved them into a drop box. Isn't that wild? Isn't that insane? Hmm. But they told us it was the most secure election ever. Well, if it's the most secure election ever, well, begs the question, why are Republicans moving forward with impeachment in Wisconsin against the election administrator? There's got to be something there. Republicans don't have really strong leadership in Wisconsin. So if they're going to push for the impeachment of their election official in Wisconsin, this has got to be damning. They're trying to impeach the election official, uh, the election commission administrator, Megan Wolf. She's been referred to the committee uh, for impeachment unlawfully promoted maladministration and the use of ballot drop boxes and also promoted and encouraged illegal alteration of absentee ballot applications during the administration of the 2020 election. Well, 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 would you look at that? And what does everyone have in common? They come from different states. They come from different backgrounds. They all have the same thing in common. They are using a rigged system and unaccountable election system in order to gain power. That's what they have in common, period. And they're all Democrats. There you go. Boom. And then this, this is how you get, this is how you get this right here. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of criminal convictions for election fraud around the country. Heritage Foundation keeps track of this. So not only does it happen, it's common. And this is what it looks like. This wouldn't be possible if you had an election center for people to go in and to vote in person. This wouldn't be possible. This is only possible and caught on camera. Well, because Dr. Fauci, because COVID, because Democrats broke our election systems forever. So when they talk about a threat to democracy, hold up a mirror. It's your boy, Benny. Holding up as many mirrors as we can around here. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.